they have greater access to the power of God. The power of God flows into them, and that power, His power, generates a decrease in stress, an increase in energy, more and clearer revelation for their lives, renewed focus, courage to make new changes, an increase in patience, and more time for what matters. That's what these young mothers taught me as they kept their covenant of sacrifice. Elder D. Todd Christofferson taught that increased spiritual power comes to us as we keep our covenants. He was explicit in his counsel that, in times of distress, let your covenants be paramount and let your obedience be exact. That's exactly what those young covenant women did. They were in distress. They focused on their covenant of sacrifice. They let that covenant be paramount, and they were exactly obedient. And what happened? Their distress fell away. I'm even more convinced that weary covenant women are revitalized as the power of God flows into their lives when they keep their covenant of service. As we keep our covenants, to what else do we have access? Joseph Smith declared that if we as covenant women live up to our privilege, the angels will not be able to be restrained from being our associates. Our privilege includes our covenants. Our covenants are a privilege. Therefore, as we live up to our covenants, the angels will not be able to be restrained from being our associates. We could also say it this way. As we keep our covenants, we can ask for angels to help us, literally. I'm not talking about praying for fantasy angels with wings to magically fairy dust our problems away. I'm not talking about praying to angels. I'm talking about praying to your Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ for those on the other side to be dispatched. Elder Holland's word to assist you. Perhaps a loved one or two could be sent to help you with whatever you need. Can you imagine the effort it took angels who pushed from the rear of hand carts as they helped the pioneers of the steep, snowy, windy, freezing, jagged terrain of Rocky Ridge? If angels can manage that, they can certainly help you and me over our present Rocky Ridges. We know the Lord gets His work done with the help of His angels, so could you use a little more help in your life? So keep your covenants with more exactness than ever before. And then ask for angels to help you with whatever you need. Or ask for them to be dispatched to help those you love. Does your child need help? Is your husband in trouble? Does your aunt need comfort? Does your best friend need direction? Ask for angels to be assigned to help them. As a covenant-keeping woman, you can do just that.